runtime menus are a convenient way of presenting or hiding commands in right-click menus or in the toolbar menus. In this video, we will learn how to create right-click menus for a particular control and a VI level toolbar menus. Open a new project, select blank project which is selected by default, click finish, add a new VI to your project, let's add a waveform chart to our front panel. Now let's add a stop button to our front panel. Next we will proceed with adding a right click menu for our chart. Right click on the waveform chart. Go to advanced. Runtime shortcut menu and then edit. Select custom from the drop down menu. Select user item from item type which is selected by default. In the item name enter the name of your menu item. We will choose or use increment as our item. Click add to add another menu item. Enter decrement under the item name. Item tag is filled automatically for us. Click the add button to add another item to the menu. This time select separator from the item type. Let's add another item. Click add. This time we will use lab views built in menus. Go to application item, then visible items, and then choose entire menu. It's time to save everything. Let's save the menu. Go to file, save. Let's choose save to file. Let's create a new folder for our project. Let's close it. Let's save our VI.
and while we are at it let's save our project now let's add a menu bar to our vi to do that go to edit then runtime menu from the drop down select custom by default the user item is selected let it be in the item name enter task let everything remain as it is to add another item click add button in the let the username be in the item name enter to make an item a sub item of another item for example if we want to make multiply it by two a uh, sub item of task we can use this right pointing arrow now to add another item plus add button add item name by default it is also a sub item of task menu now let's save this menu Let's create the block diagram for our VI. First, let's clean up the front panel a little bit.
let's create a event handling case for user right clicking on the chart And for the case where the user selects increment, let's create a separate case for default cases. And let the wire just pass through. This was for when the user uh, click right clicks on the waveform chart and selects the menu item. Now let's create uh, another event for handling the top level menu selections. menu selection user Another case for multiplied by two menu selection. And let's create a separate default case. which the wire just goes through. Now let's test our application for functionality. Run the VI our data is being printed once every second random numbers let's right click on the chart there we have our two menus increment and the value changes and the decrement and the value changes 
let's test the top level menus multiplied by 2 data jumps divided by 2 comes back so this is how you create control level menus and the VI level menu items.